friends, so today we'll be talking about what's in my wallet. So one of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube is definitely what's in my wallet, what's in my purse. I guess I'm just nosy, but I love, love, love to watch those videos. So I thought I would go ahead and show you what I keep in my wallet since I'm on my debt-free journey. So I wanted to go ahead and show you my wallet. I do have a Kate Spade wallet. It's this really pretty brown with black, I guess it's leather. It's a really nice, like, can you hear that? It's really durable, so that's what I like. I know what you guys are gonna say, wow, you have a Kate Spade wallet, but you're on a debt-free journey. Now keep in mind, yes. <laughs> This is an expensive wallet, but no, I did not buy it at full price. Now, when I go shopping, I like to go to the outlet malls because I feel like I can find really good deals there. And that's actually what happened with this wallet. Now, I love Kate Spade. They have gorgeous wallets, gorgeous purses. Oh, they're so beautiful. But I wasn't going to spend that much money. So I was actually able to get a really good deal on this wallet. They were having, it was like 50% off plus an extra 20%. So I got this wallet for like 50 or $60 and it was like almost a $200 wallet. So for me, that was definitely worth it. I've had it for over a year. So I'm definitely getting my money's worth out of it, which I really like. So it is just a one zip um, wallet. It has a pocket in the back. I don't really use that for anything, but so yeah. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'll go ahead and show you. This is what my wallet looks like. It has one, two, like three compartments so you can like put money in and all of these. Um, in this back compartment right here, I just have all my debit cards, my license, insurance, and then my controversial credit card. Now I do have a credit card and no, I don't use it. So the thing with that is when I did start my debt-free journey, I was kind of by myself, uh, my family, Part of my family lives out of state. I had a sister that lives in state, but we were kind of far away at that time. So I was alone and I just wanted to kind of have a safety net in case something did happen. I was able to take care of it. Now, yes, I did have credit card debt, but I did pay it down or pay it off, I should say. And since then I have not used this credit card. It's really just sitting in here. I guess just to sit in here, I haven't touched it since then, which is amazing, but I just keep it in there. I might be able to go ahead and just take it out now. I haven't used it in a really long time. So that's my credit card story. The next thing I have in here is one of my, this is one of my clips. It is my deposit clip. So any money left over, I put them in this clip. So I can deposit it at the bank. Um, I have three random dollars. I'm not really sure where they're from. Now this is a struggle that I have. I do the clip system because I used to actually do the envelope system, but in this wallet, every time I zipped, the envelope would get stuck in the zipper and that was just a pain in the butt. But with this, now I have $3 and I'm pretty sure this is when I went to the store, but I'm not really sure what this is from. So that's what happens. I'm in a rush. I don't want to pull the clip out to clip the money back in and take so much time. So I just stuff the change in here and then I don't know where it goes. So I'll have to figure out where that goes. This is my uh, gas clip. This is the first time I'm using it. So, so far so good. Let's see what this one is. This is my grocery clip. Still have some money left over. This is for next week's budget uh, for groceries. Let's see. So I have more loose uh, money in my wallet. Now this was from a return I did and this is the only thing that bugged me is I paid with my debit card. So I was hoping that it was gonna go straight back onto it, but instead they gave it to me in cash. So now I have to make my way to the bank to deposit that. Um, in the center right here, it has like a little coin, a coin bag. Um, now I don't really keep coins in my wallet because all that change, I put it into a really large bucket and then once it's full, I take it to the bank and I cash it. So that goes directly to my debt. I have a pocket knife in my wallet. Now this was a gift from my boyfriend. Um, when I moved out to Atlanta for the first time, I was by myself and I didn't live in a sketchy neighborhood or anything, but he just wanted me to have something in case I needed it. Thankfully, I've never needed it, but it works really well on opening boxes, so it's been handy. Um, let's see. And then on the other side right here, because it has two sets, one here and then one there. So on this set, this really just has my rewards cards. So kind of embarrassing, but I have two shoe store rewards cards. I love tennis shoes or sneakers. I just love them. Um and an Ulta one, and then a nail salon one. Uh, so on this side, I just keep the rewards cards. And actually that is, oh, wait, no. I have a clip that I haven't used. It is for personal money. I don't have any this week. 
And like I said, I don't really use this back part. So that's all I have in my wallet. I try to make sure that it's clean only because once it starts getting messy and there's a whole bunch of receipts in there, I can't find anything. The things that I do keep in my wallet are all my little clips um, and only the ones that I need. So I don't keep any like sinking funds or cash envelopes on me that I don't need to have. So the only clips that I keep in my wallet are the grocery one, the gas one, my deposit one, and my spending. And that's because I don't want to have an excess amount of cash on me. So I don't carry any sinking funds to certain cash envelopes with me. Now, if I'm going to go out and buy a present and that's going to come out of our birthday sinking fund, then I'll go ahead and either pull the money or take the envelope with me. But then I return it back as soon as I'm done shopping. So that's it for what's in my wallet. Like I said, I don't like to carry a lot of things in here, just the bare necessities. That way I'm on track and I don't have a lot of money so that I don't go out and buy things that I don't need. I'm interested to see what you guys are carrying in your wallet for your debt-free journey. Let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.